Welcome back to Die Inspired Season 1. Our players have 10 rounds to get off this boat. After round 10, anyone on this boat is dead. There are only two lifeboats on the ship, and each only holds four players. They better get creative and act fast. This is Die Inspired, Convoy to Strafe. Let's see where the dice takes. My name's Zach, uh, my character name is Franz Richter. And how long have you been playing role-playing games? Oh, uh, about 15 years. The lifeboats are tied down to the ship. In your situation, do you want to try and untie one of the... Doesn't seem like we have time to weigh, so I take out my sword and cut the rope. Okay, give me an attack. 17. 17 hits. Give me damage on the rope. Eight damage. Eight damage. So yeah, what, what are you using? Rapier. You definitely pull out your rapier and, and cut one of the ropes around boat two. Albert Lee and character name is Drogar. My character is a barbarian wanderer. I'm going to start moving towards <laughs> that lifeboat and then use my action to dash at 25. Just off the port side of the ship, another glassy black spike shoots up out of the water. Captain Harris shouts, All hands, shorten the sails! My name is Devin. I'll be playing Alexander Belcross. And how long have you been playing role-playing games? 20 years. I'm going to cut the other rope on the lifeboat I'm standing on. Okay. How's a 12? 12 hits. Okay. Do damage. What are you using? Hand axe. Uh, that's going to be 8 damage. 8 damage. Cutting through that rope as well. So now the two front ropes on boat number two are, are hanging loosely. Hey, my name is Julian Guzman. I'm playing Tiger Zen. In real life, I am a data analyst for cybersecurity firm. I'm gonna like do that like kick flip up to get back on my kick feet. Up. Yeah, because I was prone. Uh, seeing flat hand, I'm gonna use my free action to take a luchador mask out and put it on my head. <laughs> that make, looks like a tiger. One, two, three, four people before the shenanigans started. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I guess, cartwheel for flavor over to the boat. And can I use my action and bonus action on the ropes to cut them with the dagger? Hold on, that's like 14 things. Okay, so first, <laughs> so right out the gate. So first, you're gonna kip up out of the boat. Yep. Okay, give me an acrobatics check. DC 10. Acrobatics. Uh, that is going to be uh, three plus three plus two. Uh, so eight. 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 So with an eight, with the excitement and the adrenaline pumping in your veins, you actually kip further than you meant to and just smack right on your face. So you did not recover from prone, from prone in this situation, so you didn't save yourself any movement speed, <laughs> but you did look ridiculous doing it. So now you're gonna get up and you, you're gonna retrieve your mask. Yeah, uh, free action, put it on. So manipulation to retrieve something to put it on. Sorry, I'll get closer to the boat with my movement. Okay, so you have, so, so this is your movement, you wanna go here? Yes, exactly. Okay, so you still have your action, so you wanna attack a rope? Yep, I do. Okay. Um, and I can do bonus and regular action. On so it, right? bonus action, yes. Cool. Oh, much better. Uh, one's probably not going to hit, but uh, I think this 18, uh, 23 does hit. 23 does hit, yes. Okay, so 23 rope damage is gonna be not great. Uh, that is going to be a four. Four. You biff the landing. You just pop back up, pretend like nobody saw. Put a mask on. You put a mask on to hide your shame. <laughs> if I put this on, nobody will know it was me. And then you pull out your, what's, what do you? Uh, dagger. Just dagger. So you pull out your dagger and you start kind of hacking at the rope. It's like in the cartoons where it's like ping, ping, ping. You still got one strand holding on. The lanterns on the ship flare and brighten in unison. Even with the spray of the waves, they don't seem to dim. My name is Miranda, and I am playing Grammy Ufgood. Um, I am currently a full-time psychology student. I was just going to start assisting in untying, untying the boat. I'll just start untying it. So it's just a dex check? Cool. And so that is just going to be a 15. 15? So yeah, you, with all the chaos going around, on around you, you were able to to quickly undo one of these knots. I'm I'm down there with I'm down there with my knitting needles just pick, picking it apart. You have knitting needles? I am a grandmother. Awesome. I'm Grammy. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> Alright, so so Grammy is very brave and during all this chaos, the first thing that pops in her head is we gotta we gotta untie this knot. <gasps> needles and she... <laughs> so Beautiful. Apart. You have this corner here. Untie. 
Okay, um, in that case, I'll just move to the next rope and I'll just kind of try to make my way around. So we have a guy in a mask and we have Grammy with her knitting needles. Beautiful. <laughs> Captain Harris, straining to turn the wheel, yells, Obelie, curse you, Reslin, you damned us all! My name's Philip, and I'm playing Archie today. I am a headset advisor, and Archie is a druid. I'm going to draw my scimitar, use that to cut the last rope on boat two. Okay, roll to hit. Uh, that is an 11 to hit. That hits, do damage. All right. For nine slashing. Yes, you. that's more than enough to cleave through this rope, and it kind of springs back towards the lifeboat, tattered. Do you have movement left? Do you have... I'm going to move towards the barrels, and then I will call out to the people around me to grab some barrels and lash them to the lifeboat so more people can fit on. A loud scream skips across the water, drawing your attention to the expedition. One of the lifeboats dances wildly as people are fighting for a seat. Uh, my name is Colin, and my character's name is Clovis. I am a cleric, a life cleric, and I am a sailor as well. I'm going to uh, get up and move towards the right side of the ship, uh, casting uh, guidance on myself. Okay. Character name is Largo, my name is Rusty. Uh, I'm a bard. And how long have you played role-playing games? Oh gosh, since 1978. Good evening, sailors. I want to alarm you. Weather is less than optimal. Let's pull together and get through this, guys. <laughs> Says the guy who's trapped in the crow's nest. <laughs> Half my movement to stand up, and as much as you'll allow me to start climbing down. Climbing mean, down with the bagpipes. <laughs> uh, unless you have a climb speed, descending from here will be will be double move. Yep, so I'll go move seven feet down. If I have an action to dash, then yeah, I will. A spray of salt water stings your eyes. The mouthful of ocean. It's a very sulfuric and metallic taste. Hi, I'm Heidi and my character is Estrella. I'm actually an aircraft mechanic. I want to try to divine sense and okay. see if I can sense whatever it is that's... And that's undead, it's celestials, celestial or fiends, fiends and undead. You, you sense no celestials, fiends, or undead. No, I was gonna, I'm just gonna grab that barrel next to me and bring it over to the lifeboat. This one here at 205? Yes. Okay, so you... I mean, you're standing next to the lifeboat, so you just pick the barrel yep. up, you have it, so you still have a move and an action. Um, I'm going to tie it to the... So you're going to use your action to, to lash this barrel to the boat? For me. Uh, Arcturus. And how long have you been playing role-playing games? Uh, I want to say for about three years now. A cry for help catches your ear. You look off in the distance as someone, someone clings to a barrel desperately. A wave reaches up with tendril-like fingers, and the cries are muted. Do you want to grab a barrel? No. No, I don't. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to bonus action cast Sanctuary on myself, and then I'm going to reach over the boat and start untying one of the knots. Okay. Give me a dex. Bonus action. Yep. Yeah, action. Uh, that is a 18, or sorry, 17. Yes, you daftly up. and nimbly reach over. Is he in the lifeboat? Is it? He's just sitting in it. <laughs> <laughs> The estate does, do you have a flag? Uh, I do not have a flag. No. If only you had a flag, we could plant, like, I have claimed my territory. I hold up my holy symbol. State your claim. All right, my name's Dan. My character's name is Low Joybringer. Hey, what do you do? I'm a bartender and a flight instructor. One of the ropes on, on the lifeboat you're closest to, which is number two, comes loose. The boat starts banging around the ship bouncing around with the waves. I'm going to make my way over to the boat. So you can't get to this rope yet. But I also have a mage hand, which I'll cast, to untie the last remaining rope. Clever. Give me a caster check. Uh, so spell caster check will just be like your spell attack. Okay. Fourteen. Fourteen. You cast this spell and manipulate with, with your uh, somatic components and your mage hand is able to pull the knot free. My name's Tyler, I'm playing Henry. Uh, well, I'm a guild merchant, I sell maps. How long are you playing role-playing games? Oh, let me calculate my age first. Uh, 18 years. Boat two is free. Captain Harris yells, Port side, hang on to something! Her words cut short as a wave sweeps her overboard into the dark raging water. 
Fantastic. Oh. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, there is one captain left on the vessel, Captain Waston the Mule. So, <laughs> I am going to go rescue him and dash below decks. Is he tied up? Yeah, it's a simple, I mean, it's a mule. He's not gonna, so just like you would tie a mule, he's just got one, one rope kind of wrapped around. I dash below because I- I believe I, this is I, happening again. <laughs> Gotta go get him. He's, he, he, I need him. The mule. Can he right. swim? Yeah, mules are good at swimming. They're better than half of you guys. So good news, you are not without a captain and you were, you were only without a captain for a brief moment. <laughs> Hey, I'm Mike Vergamini, and I'm playing Sabalda. You hear wood crack and splinter as another spike of black, glassy obsidian punctures the stern of the ship, ripping through it. So, the last two rows of the ship have just been ripped off. Oh, good. Good thing no one was standing there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you all moved. All right. <laughs> all right, let's get, let's get boat one unmoored. Um, I guess I'll draw my cutlass and move towards boat one and cut off one of the, one of the, one of the lashes. All right, roll to 14, uh, seven damage. All right, so you, with what are you, what are you using? Cutlass. Pulls out your cutlass and just hacks that rope. My name is Connor, and my character's name is Binga Donzetti. I've been playing role-playing games for a little bit over one year. A barrel of lamp oil smashes against a handrail. The flame from the oil lamp catches with an extremely oversized flash of fire. So I've, I've got my feet kicked out. I'm inside the lifeboat, <laughs> in the front of the boat, and... Uh, if you pull out a pope pipe right now and smoke it. I, I'm going to pull out my lyre, actually, and <laughs> tweak it just for a half second. No and then... time! Unmoor! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> no! Get the boat! <laughs> and then a little uh, mage hand comes out as I'm over here just strumming away and just we'll, use your hand. We'll untie the third one. Okay, give me a, a like a spell attack. It's gonna be a natural 18 plus five. 23. 23. Yeah, so I mean, that's actually people are impressed with the uh, with the. the ooh, ooh, that sounds. Ooh, that sounds good. Where'd Captain Harris go? I don't know, but listen to this. <laughs> And as, as the boat is untied, and I guess I'm, we're rocking around now. Yeah, so now you're just kind of rocking a little bit. Uh, my name's Cliff. I'm playing a dwarf named Halfbeard. And how long have you been playing role-playing games? 45 years. Uh, first thing, I'm going to just get to my feet, and I'm going to try and make my way toward, past number three, towards the barrels. So moving through an occupied space is double move. Oh, and you're prone. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. So you have to dash? Yeah, but that's what it takes. I'm going to keep ready to... Undo a barrel and yell at the captain. They're, they're throw free, it overboard. They're, they're freestanding, so it's just manipulation. You just want to chuck one throw over. Throw one over, say, Captain, swim for the barrel. And then I'm going to look sadly at the bard here who's sitting in my seat. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying, are you trying to help with the horse? Captain, Captain, Captain. Other people kind of get mad when you betray. Grand Anvil, no! <laughs> you will be famous for causing the most death without ever drawing a weapon. The water swallows them. They're gone. 